of truly reusable rockets. For it to make a revolution in space, it's got to be reusable. If you think about any mode of transport, bicycles, plane, it's just too expensive there to, you know, have it spoke to them. Exactly. There was a launch of what was called the F-9R, the F-9 reusability. This was the early days before any rocket booster had come back to be reflown, and many in the industry thought it couldn't be done. And we were there, it was going to be a three-engine test, they put in some new navigation system, and it went haywire, and the rocket sort of tilted over, and they had to do a detonate, and it just made this enormous kaboom, because it was, you know, pretty heavily fueled. It spewed wreckage everywhere, quite a scene. I actually suggested, hey, let's go out there and look around. We get a call from someone who's quite nervous about this, <laughs> we decided to just keep going, and it was amazing. We we're like seeing the aftermath of this, you know, ambition that had a setback, right? And one of the other board members was trying to cheer Elon up and, and said something to the effect of, you're not learning if you're not failing or something to that effect. He goes, considering the alternatives, I'd rather learn from success.